Hello. I've been watching boxing professionally now for more than 40 years. And in the next hour and a half or so, I want to share with you some of the very thrilling nights I've had at the ringside. Now, one man, amazingly, has occupied almost half those 40 years. It's my old mate, Henry Cooper. I first came across Henry in 1951. He was a teenager then. He was a national serviceman in the army, but he was already making headlines as an amateur champion. Well, 12 years later, of course, he dumped Cassius Clay on the seat of his pants and became world famous. Now, we're going to see Henry in action in 1967. He was getting on a bit then, 33, but he was still the British heavyweight champion. Now, if he wins this fight, he'll be the first and only man ever to win three Lonsdale belts. The man he's facing is the golden boy of British boxing, Billy Walker, so-called because Billy could always pack him in at the box office. 15 rounds for the British and Empire Heavyweight Championship, Walker versus Cooper the champion. The champion wearing the dark shorts. Except that Walker would do well to get through seven or eight rounds. Cooper can hit on the break, providing he hasn't been ordered to break by the referee. If the referee says break, you mustn't hit. Cooper pushing his left glove into Walker's face inside. Cooper looking superbly confident, much more so than he did against Jack Bodell in the first round in June. Two solid jabs through to Walker's face. Walker's head jerking around Cooper's face and that's the way Cooper gets cut. Walker's going to have to take a lot of these left hands if he's going to get in close. Walker's had some minor success in this opening round, but most of the solid punching has been done by Cooper, and Cooper's taken the first. So we're into the second round. There hasn't been a first round win in the heavyweight championship for nearly 52 years, and there hasn't been one tonight. Solid left hand from Cooper gets right in to the ribs of Walker. This is the round in which Cooper beat Jack Bodell in his last defense in June this year. this way and that to avoid the left but he can't Cooper's own left hook so far has been his best punch Walker's left hook has been getting in occasionally to Henry's head oh what a good right hand from Cooper and a left of followers Walker came onto him Cooper is sharp tonight. He's trained hard for this one, and he really is sharp. And he's made a much better start to this fight than he does in many of them. And Cooper is cut. Cooper is cut over the left eye. Second round. I think telling him to stand up and box, not too much rubbing of heads inside. And Walker.
Walker's having a go and he's had a little bit of success there. This boy Walker's got all the courage in the world and he's going to have a go. Henry's belted him with the left hook a few times and he hasn't gone down. Although he's taking punishment in this third round, Walker's scoring more than he's scored at any stage so far. And his right hand has given Henry some trouble. That's a low one from Walker, a left hand. And he's got Cooper in trouble on the ropes. Henry had to fight his way off there because he was taking punches he shouldn't be taking. This is a tremendous effort by Walker in the third round. And Cooper's open mouthed and he's surprised and shaken by the ferocity of the attack coming at him. Jim Wicks signaling to the referee, tell Walker to be careful with his head. What a round this has been. We're coming to the end of the third. And I'm not so sure that Walker hasn't won it. Coming up to a third of the scheduled distance. Cooper picking up punches with the left jab now. This is what he's got to do. got to draw the strength out of Walker. He'll never draw the courage out of him, that's for sure. This is the hardest championship defence Cooper's had for a long time. Walker's slowed down a bit and Cooper's done well in the latter half of this round. He's scoring a lot. Last half minute of the fifth. Cooper's left jab has won him this round. Walker's eye is cut, Walker's right eye is cut. Billy Walker is now apparently quite badly cut over the right eye. It suddenly appeared in the last few seconds of that round and he's very badly cut on the right eye, Walker. He's much, much more badly cut than Henry Cooper is. Cooper's only got a nick above the eye, but Walker has got a really bad cut, which is spouting blood. Walker's eyes bleeding already. And Cooper has got new life and new confidence. And now George Smith's looking at it. And it is a bad cut, and the referee wants a good look at it. And he's sending him to his corner. It's over. And Billy Walker's championship challenge is over because he's cut on the right eye. And the referee, George Smith, says it's too bad for you to continue. And Cooper is the winner. Unusual in a Cooper fight for the other man to be stopped on a cut. But his brother George was in his corner that night. He was his manager, of course. Today, George is the financial tycoon of Brent Walker fame. And Henry, well, as we all know, today he's one of the most popular men in Britain.